welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be showing you my very natural everyday basic makeup routine that I will use when I do decide to wear makeup. So a little bit of background info on like my past with makeup I guess. I used to have quite bad acne which means that I, you know, I, I used to wear makeup quite a bit. It was never actually like products that were good for my skin. I didn't really understand what I needed to do. I've got a great skincare routine now. I've seen a dermatologist. Everything's really cleared up did that I went to my dermatologist she recommended a few things when I was looking for makeup obviously like mineral powder and really nice like a, a nice vitamin C cream and think this that and the other so grab that stuff and for the last like probably two years I have absolutely loved my very natural basic makeup look when I do choose to wear it another thing that I wanted to quickly mention I usually only wear makeup about 10% of the time and when I do it is this natural makeup look I feel as though myself, maybe I'm the only one that feels this way, but I feel like when I get my makeup professionally done or I do like a full glam or literally anything that's a little bit more above and beyond than what I do here, I feel like I don't look like myself and I really don't like how I look when I do have that full glam on. So even if I'm going out to a party or I'm going out for drinks with the girls, I'll still do this natural makeup look, even if it means that my skin isn't as clean or my you can still see a few pimples here and there. I just feel like it's so much more me than the whole face of makeup and that's not putting anyone down that does do that because there's so many girls that look absolutely amazing with their full glamour faces I just don't feel like that works for me so you guys do your thing I'll do mine um, but yeah I'm just gonna show you what I do and run through the products with you while I am using them yeah let's get started let's clip that bad boy Okay, let me move in closer. Okay, so let me just get out what I need. Right, so the very first thing that I use is a hyaluronic acid. Um, it's called Hyaluronic 8 by Alpha H. My dermatologist actually gave me this. It's just to keep the skin nice and hydrated. So I'll pour one drop, one drop, one drop. Rub it in. And then I'm just gonna let it dry out for a little bit because it's quite a sticky serum. And if you don't let it dry out, it's gonna mix with your other, other things that you put on, which I'll show you in a second. So, as this one's drying, we'll run through this. This is a vitamin C cream. It's 10% vitamin C self activating cream. It's by Zoe Skin Health by Zain Obagi. It is so good. So this is my number one skincare brand, which I'll run through. I only have used vitamin C cream on my face in the mornings. So even if I'm wearing no makeup or wearing makeup, I'll still use this cream. I just feel like it absolutely like plumps up the skin, makes it feel great. So I just use two pumps of that. Literally the tiniest amount. Make sure I get under the eyes and on the eyelids because it actually makes it so much easier to take my mascara off if it's all nice and moisturized in those areas. So, those two are done, which means like the base that I use is done. These actually don't even go in my little makeup corner. It goes in my drawer because it's actually skincare stuff. So I make sure that those are nice and good. And then we are going to go into my lashes. So I have a curler. I literally just got this one off Amazon. I curl my lashes quickly. I pin it down on top of my lash. Oh, that one was not a good one. And it's time to add the mascara. So just take a quick look. I might move you guys a little bit. Take a quick look at my lashes right now. They're curled, they are blonde, so you can barely see them. And then I'm going to apply this mascara just to one side. I'm not gonna do it in the thing because I find that it's so hot, so I'll do it in the mirror. Thank you. 
I definitely did get some on my eyelids, but you can see the difference between my left eye and my right eye with the mascara. I'm gonna quickly do this right side and then I'm gonna get a Q-tip and I'm just gonna rub away, rub away the excess, so. That's so much harder. There we go. So that's the mascara. I'm gonna leave that there. This one's from Fit Cover. Now, Fit Cover is a company, and I actually also use their powder, which you'll see in a second. Fit Cover is a company that I used to spend so much money on, and they actually saw me in their orders list, and they contacted me and asked if I wanted to be an ambassador, so super grateful for that. It's not a paid collaboration at all. It's based only off commission, so um, I don't pump it. Like, I will when I want to and when I use it, but it's not something that I specialize in. I'm not gonna say that I wear makeup every day because I don't, but when I do wear it, I'll tag them, and I'll put up the link and stuff so you guys can buy stuff and give you my code and whatnot. Now, now, the product that I used to buy so much of is their powder and I absolutely loved it used it for two years it's a mineral powder the idea is that it's sweat proof and I 100% agree that it is um, it doesn't clog it is the fit girls makeup which is just so good because it's honestly great um, and then they brought out a mascara and I was a little bit iffy because I was like how are they gonna make this better than the mascaras that are already out because their powders were great it was mineral it was sweat proof it had that sort of niche market and then they brought out mascara and I was like, what's the go? Like, what's so great about it? Then I tried it and I am freaking in love with it. Like you guys can see my lashes right now. They're super separated, which is something that I really find is hard to get in a mascara. I went into Sephora the other day and asked them for their best recommendation of mascara. I bought one for like 45 US dollars, which is like 60 Australian dollars. And I put it on and it clumped up so quickly. It was freaking disgusting. I was so pissed off with them. Um, so then I went back to my basics. Obviously I've already got, this is how many fit cover mascaras I've got. I love them so much. And their mascaras are collagen as well, which I wouldn't think made the difference, but honestly my lashes have had so much growth and I have no idea what else is in it, but it's like a friggin' magic serum. So super, super dark mascara. They've got, obviously it's really, really thin on the eyelashes. It's somewhat waterproof. Like it's not waterproof that it just never comes off, but it doesn't run or anything when it gets wet. It sort of clumps itself. And then if you pull it off, it'll come out, but otherwise it'll just stay on there. So it is literally like my favorite product that I own out of everything. It's, it's the tits. It's so good. So definitely a must do. Moving on, I'm going to get a Q-tip and just wipe away all the excess mascara on the tops of my lids. Okay, next thing that I do is I'm going to do my eyebrows last because I just feel like that's something that should be done last anyway. So next thing that I'm going to do is literally I will use a concealer. I have two big pimples, one there, one there at the moment. So I'll literally just dab that once once it's the radiant creamy concealer by nars i think it's so good i did try and use another concealer but it just did not work it made me break out it was a really good one but it just made me break out so i just couldn't do it dab that bad boy in just with my finger because i don't want it to be too like brushy it's, it's not big enough to need a brush if i do want to use a little bit more of concealer underneath my eyes i will sometimes i'll do that um, especially when there's mascara under there. Same thing though, I just grab my finger. I don't understand how I have such bad bags under my eyes. I'm like 23 years old, what is going on? And I sleep like a princess. I'm literally out like a light and I wake up so late now, especially being in America. Okay. Next thing, literally like my last thing for my skin is this powder. So I have two different shades. I have the Naked Shade and the Nourish Shade. This is when I'm tan, this is, and then this is when I'm not. This is the difference between when I'm tan and when I'm not. I tan so easily, it's insane. But when the sun's not out and I haven't been in the sun, I'm like a freaking ghost. So those are the two shades that I use. Naked and Nourish. Naked's my white, Nourish is my tan. So I'm gonna use Naked because I'm definitely not tan right now. This is how it is. It's got a little opening pad thing. You just sort of shake that in. I shake it into the other one. Get a little bit of powder, dab it, swirl it around, and literally just dab it on my face. 
I don't know if you guys can already see the difference. So, like I said, it's a mineral powder. It's super, super fair. It's not a clumpy powder. It's not something that sits and clogs up and feels like your face is just covered completely. It's not a massive coverage thing. It's really just the smallest difference, but it makes me feel like I've got something on. Like, this is what I will wear when, you know, I'm just not having a good day and I want to feel a little bit prettier. Use the rest that's on the thing underneath my chin. Done. So that's for that bit cover powder. The best thing ever. And you can also buy little like trial, little like a trial pack as well. I'll leave my link in code for you guys if you do want to buy any of that. And then if I would want to, I get a little bit of blush. Chuck it under right near my cheeks and then chuck a little bit of the darker contour. contour. Um, usually I just use the blush because I don't really care too much for the rest. But I just dab a little bit underneath my cheeks. Yeah. It looks really pink in the camera, but it's not. It must just be the lighting. So do that. That's it. And then eyebrows. Okay. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Top brow powder duo so it's got the like brow color i've never used this one but i'm guessing it's to go under and over your brows i don't really do that because i'm just not that great um so i use that i use one of my little brushes i got a massive brush set from zoeva and then this this is the best thing ever so beachy brows it's a brow soap and it's literally just a little slider thing it's got like a little wax mine's a little bit tinted because i've been using i put the color on first and then put the soapy brows on or you have to to do is wet the brush put it in brush up your brows and then they stick it's like freaking super glue it's amazing so I'll just brush my brows first then I'll chuck some of the powder on I have quite bushy brows already so I just make sure they're all brushed up I don't really like shape my brows or anything. I just follow what it is already. There we go. Okay. So let's wet this brush. Literally just roll it around in the brow soap. And then brush over the brows. And it's like this, it's literally brow soap. It just keeps them fluffy, you know? Everyone loves fluffy brows. Maybe not everyone, but I guess the people with fluffy brows love fluffy brows. <laughs> so, there we go. I'm gonna chuck that away. Make sure all the stuff is gone. That's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, actually just ladies. I don't know why guys would be watching this video, but I just got a little bit better lighting. The brows are fluffy. The lashes are popping. And their skin is slightly covered. Like, I don't like massive, massive makeup looks where you really have to contour the face to even show that you have a jawline. Like, that's just not for me. But I just love the natural look. A little bit more brows, a little bit of lashes, a little bit of blush. I love a bit of blush. And then I'll just chuck a very basic lip balm on. What have I got in here? A breeze balm. Let's chuck some of that on. I really want to get my lips like colored. Have you guys ever seen that tattooing where it's sort of like a lip blush? I really want to get that done because I'm just scared it's gonna make me look like I got a lip job. A lip like injections because it's just not my thing. So lip balm's on, makeup is on, and then that is it. Usually I'll do my hair actually. <laughs> That's a lie, I don't do my hair. It's very rare that I do my hair too, especially in quarantine, there's no one to impress. So why am I doing it? <laughs> Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave all the um, products in the description and then links if I do have them. The only link that I'm really going to have is for Fit Cover. Nothing else is sponsored. I spend so much money on trying makeup products that really never work for me. So these ones that do work are like my Holy Grail products. I'll be doing a skincare routine soon, so keep an eye out for that. And that is it. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on my next video.